Hello everyone. My name is John Cassidy, and today we are exploring the Kentucky Ghost Ship, also known as the USS Satram Ruins. Abandoned in Petersburg, Kentucky, off of Lawrenceburg Ferry Road in 1987, the ship is now a favorite destination for kayakers and once an award-winning Navy ship that served proudly during both World Wars. It also served as a backdrop in a Madonna video, shuttled Thomas Edison while he conducted war experiments, and attended Ronald Reagan's relighting of the Statue of Liberty Torch. So how did this celebrity vessel end up forgotten in the murky depths of the Ohio River? Launched in 1902, the ship was originally intended as a luxury ride for railroad moguls. It was 186 foot long and christened the cell. A change of owners led to her second naming, the Satchum. The Satchum became the USS Satchum when war erupted and Navy acquired the small speedy vessel to combat the German U-boats and countless submarines wrecking havoc on the British Army supply lines. Manned with machine guns and depth charges, the USS Satchum became a secret weapon, but it wasn't quite enough to keep the enemy at bay, so they turned to a great mind of the time for new innovative answers. That was when the USS Satchum became the place that Thomas Edison worked his magic. Edison used the ship as a place to conduct experiments on creative ways to destroy the sub-threats. Unfortunately, Edison found the military stifling and after a difficult relationship, lost his funding and his fancy war yacht in 1918. The war ended and the Navy returned the ship to its civilian owner. Her next life was as a fishing vessel in New York, but that didn't last long as the Satrum was once again called into duty. This time the Japanese had done the unthinkable and attacked the US on home soil when a successful surprise attack on Pearl Harbor thrust the US headfirst into World War II. With new, shiny ornaments, sonar equipment, and a fancy new name, the U.S. Fenekite was once again rented by the Navy to guard the home front from the U-boats. The vessel was once again returned after the war ended, never to be used in battle again. After serving in two wars, the ship was once again the Satchum, and sailed away from the conflicts with an American campaign medal and two victory medals, on from each world war. Purchased in the late 40s by a quickly growing cruise line in New York City, the Satchum became a recreational vessel once again, starting her career as a cruise ship under the name Sightseer, and eventually ending it as its final identity, the Circle Line 5, which is the faded name that can still be found on her hull today. The cruise line eventually petered out, and the ship that had seen so much became outdated and obsolete. After being purchased and fixed up by private owner Robert Miller in 1986, the Circle Line 5 enjoyed one last hurrah when a representative from Madonna spotted the ship and asked if it could be used as a part of a backdrop in the singer's Papa Don't Preach video. The pop music cameo was the final adventure for the electric but worn down vessel, and after being navigated down the Mississippi by Miller and his crew, she was anchored on a small tributary by the Ohio River and Miller's property, never to sail again. So that's the history of the ship. Enjoy the rest of the video while we explore what's left.
Bible. Well, thank you all for watching my documentary and tour of the abandoned Kentucky ghost ship. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you all in the next video.